It's a Saturday morning, 2018. I've woken up around 7 a.m. I'm 12 years old at this point. I get up, I go and get my cereal. I eat that in silence. No distractions, nothing to distract me. I just eat my cereal and enjoy it. I go and do my chores I need to do for the day. It probably takes about half an hour. And then I decide to go and watch YouTube for about 45 minutes before I head outside and go and play basketball with one of my best mates. We play basketball basically the whole day down at my local basketball courts for about four or five hours. We just chilled there in the sun. About halfway through, we went and got some lunch, got some hot chips, and we just chilled for the whole day. Then around three, four o'clock, when it was starting to get a bit cold, we went back to my house and he stayed the night over. We got McDonald's for dinner, we played games all night, we had those like lolly snack. But we wouldn't do that often, that would be once a month kind of thing. And then we'd do a similar thing Sunday, we'd go play basketball and then we'd have school. Monday through Friday. I didn't get a phone until I was in high school. I didn't know what a vape was until, what, year eight maybe? I didn't discover porn until year seven. I had Instagram, my iPad, when I was in grade six, but at that time, Instagram wasn't that bad. It was just photos. So there was nothing to get really addicted to. But I was speaking to my cousin the other day. My auntie and her, or her mum, we were talking about, you know, vaping. And as soon as my auntie said that word, I'm like, in my head, you shouldn't be talking about, about this around an eight-year-old. It's not very good, but my cousin, the eight-year-old, she actually brought it up first. She didn't ask what vaping was. She didn't ask how it's bad for you. She simply said, kids in her class vape. At the back of the school with the year sixes at lunchtime. I thought it was bad for grade sixes. You're here in Australia, last year of primary school, grade six to vape. I thought that was bad. Year twos, bro. You fucking twos, man. That is fucked. Like no one that I know of vaped at my primary school. No one. Because they weren't really a thing then, but I think if they were, people still wouldn't do it. Sometimes I see primary school kids walk home when I'm walking home from high school, right? And they look literally nine or 10 years old and they have a phone in their hand scrolling through TikTok on the way home. I just see it from a distance. Like I, I just see their, their thumb swiping. And it's not these kids' fault. It's not Gen Z's fault that our generations ended up like this. It's not. It's just what we've brought in, we've been brought into. And I would say, especially 2009 and up, that's, it's, it's bad, bro. It's, it's actually really bad. And I was very close to ruining my life with these things. I was addicted to watching porn three or four times a day when I was uh, 14, every single day, three or four times a day, because that wasn't a drug. Porn is a drug. Porn is a drug. Sometimes social media can be a drug depending on how you use it. Vapes are a drug. All these things are drugs and that we are addicted to them at such a young age. Imagine an eight, eight year old, I'm not saying vapes are as bad as crack, but imagine an eight year old being addicted to crack cocaine. Like imagine this, imagine a society when our younger generation is addicted to these things. I was so lucky that I found out what no fat was at the time and I discovered the art and the world and the realm of self-improvement and I've escaped this life of just shitness. But again, it wasn't necessarily my fault and it's not your fault if you're watching this video and you're in a deep hole, it's not really your fault. To a T it is, if you know that this isn't right, but if you've known your whole life that, you know, this is the best that you can do and just waste your time and get nowhere, it's not your fault. It really isn't. I'm gonna give you three pieces of advice that is going to save you from this dark place our generation is heading to. Number one, cut out all the instant gratification bullshit. Seriously, bro, cut this shit out. Porn, too much video games, vapes, seriously, they're a waste of fucking time. Vapes are just shit. Seriously, they don't get you anywhere. If, like, if you vape, like, but you, you're still working towards a life that you want to live, then it's not necessarily as bad. It's just the health issues that are, like, are with it, right? But if you're vaping and it's holding you back from doing the things that you know you should be doing, then that's more of a problem. Number two, use social media very wisely. Use it very wisely. Do not compare yourself to other people. Social media is a highlight reel. And one of the biggest things that cause depression, especially in Generation Z and below, is comparison because we're constantly comparing our lowlights to other people's highlights on social media. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday. Everyone's in their timeline. Everybody has their own timeline. Everybody has their own life and this is your life. You're exactly where you are for a reason. Number three, seriously, stop giving a fuck what people think. 
I know that can sound corny, just stop caring, but it's true. Caring what people think and putting others' opinions before your own will lead you down a life of misery. I'm not saying to just stop giving a fuck altogether. However, put your opinion on yourself over others' opinions on you. Don't live for other people because you get one shot at this life and I don't want you to waste it living it for other people because you're gonna have so much regret at the end of your life if you do that. Make it your mission to escape this life. Yeah, this life of just emptiness, dragging yourself through life without any meaning or purpose because that's what 90% of our generation is heading down. But you, you're part of that 10%, you're part of that 1%. Yeah, he's going to actually live life to its fullest potential. Subscribe to join the movement of rebuilding this generation. If you need help with breaking your bad habits, go and check out the free link, uh, the free training I have for you down below in the description. Join our Discord community and I'll catch you in the next video, bro. Peace.